This looks recent. A shoe with a broken heel will surely leave scratches. All right, John. Do you think a ghost could leave this footprint? I'm reserving judgment. Use your keen eye to follow the trail. Rose de Moore. All the maids in the hotel wear this exact shoe. Size four with a broken heel. So definitely not the ghost of a Raja. Unless... Oh, no. What a shame. Our witness was a nosy maid. Hmm. Searching the entire hotel could be difficult. Perhaps the other maids can help us find her. Do you know anything about this? Hmm. You look like an honorable man. I have some information for you. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Sir, I don't know. Try asking someone else. May I ask you something? I would help you if I knew, sir. Time to check your who, what and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? Finally, there you are. One would think a maid would be easy to find in this place. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Do you need more towers? No, no. You are the maid who saw the ghost in the seance room, yes? How did you know? Simple. You changed shoes after breaking a heel while fleeing the scene. I'm sorry, sir, but if I may ask, who are you?
I'm a novelist documenting the supernatural and those who witness it now. Should you take a starring role in the tale, I will need your name. Oh my, a book? And you want to include me? I'm Lucia, Lucia Saleta. Something went wrong during the seance, Lucia, but no one will tell me what happened. You would be a valuable interview if you were there. I was, and I saw everything with my own eyes. Describe what happened during the seance. A lady and two gentlemen were sitting at a table, touching their hands to something. The medium started to whisper and, and chant, and a ghost appeared. A ghost? You're confident? Hmm? It was unearthly, sir. It grew from the medium's chest, a glowing cloud or a bubble. I pressed closer against the window to see better. And the lady saw you? How did she? Yes. She screamed and pointed, so I hurried to escape, and I broke my heel. But I did see the ghost, a sickly, evil thing. And that's all you can tell me? Did you see any of what happened next? Mm -hmm. the, the medium, Mr. Galici, he was doing something with the ghost. He grabbed at it like he was trying to catch it. And then I ran. I suppose I should be grateful you endured these horrors for such a long time. All right, I have your account memorized. Good day. You lied to the poor girl, Sherry. What a tease. She'll dream about being a character of that book. Surely a pleasant dream is better than no dream at all, John. Oh, let's get back to the crime scene. I always love seeing you explain simple things to simpletons. Lady Craven retired to her room to rest. Lord Craven remained here until the staff reported that the medium was locked in his room. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. <gasps> 
It all began when the lady screamed and pointed at the window. Lord Craven jumped up, ready to face anything, ghost or human. The medium shrank back in dismay. He was not expecting such a reaction and had to quickly hide the ghost. The lady was the only one left touching the diamond, at least until she fainted. Amazing! It's like you saw it with your own eyes, sir. Oh, I forgot that you were here. I guess I should discuss all of this with Lady Craven. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. It is one of our finest suites. If the lady was touching a diamond, then she would have felt the ghost take it. What do you think it felt like, Sherry? A jellyfish? Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall? Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall? Lady Craven is not who she seems. Lady Craven... Lady Craven is not... Lady Craven is not who she... You're here, at last. I didn't do that. I swear, I found her this way. Well, I did have some questions for her, but it seems I've arrived too late. Now it's a matter for the police. Mr. Holmes, you said it yourself. They're children. They'll only make things worse. You, you promised me you would investigate. Investigate a theft, not a murder. Fear not. I will tell them all I've uncovered. Please help me. 
police will surely accuse me of Emma's death. You are the only one who can find the truth. Fine, but only because it's slightly more interesting than the walls of my room. Tell me what happened. Look, after you left, I waited in the seance room until the servants locked up Mr. Galici the medium. And was your mistress there too? Oh, so you... you know? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, regardless, the staff took Emma to her room. She was still feeling dizzy. So you didn't follow her. Interesting. Is Mr. Galici still being held? And where did the servants secure him? He's in room 225. But that pigeon-livered man at the reception desk refused to give me the key. Well, I will have to visit reception myself then. Perhaps he will listen to reason. Where did you go instead? To the bar. It had been almost an hour. I see. And how long did you stay? I partook of a well-earned whiskey or two before retiring upstairs. Ask anyone there. Now we arrive at the tragedy at hand. So what transpired after your detour to the bar? I headed up to my room to find Emma on the bed. I didn't pay her much attention at first. I was still preoccupied with that damned medium. But when I realized she was silent, I drew closer and discovered she was dead. What's more, the diamond lay right there beside her. Oh, well, that is splendid news. Splendid? The return of the diamond will be cold comfort if I live out my days in a jail cell. You must help me. Let me see what I can find. Barely an hour has passed. You already have yourself a murder mystery, Sherlock. Why am I not surprised? Fard Rouge, Calomel Mascara, a real altar of beauty for the traveling temptress. Fard Rouge, Calomel Mascara, a real altar of beauty for the traveling temptress. A neat hiding place. Why would she conceal all of this? <sighs> Several thousand pounds, that's quite a fortune. Hmm, this ring looks out of place among the others, and the design is familiar. Virtus or Dactus Apid, courage tastes bold. A unique family motto. The mystery deepens. A victim with a checkered past and poor taste. A remarkably simple lock. This must be the missing diamond. A tremendous specimen, now forever tainted. Strangled with bare hands, judging by the bruises. Everything was tipped out of the bed as if it was searched. Do you think she stole the stone? It's certainly possible, but we won't get her confession now. Well, there is a professional medium right next door.
Someone was not happy with his post. Someone was not happy with his post. Get to the point, Mr. Holmes. I doubt I can help with this. I doubt I can help with this. I found these jewels secreted away. Are you familiar with them? Ah, it cannot be so. That deceptive wagtail. How could she do this? That sounds like a yes. These items were supposedly stolen from us during our trip. I must have spent hours reporting it all to the police. And it turns out she had them all along. The trollop. I'd kill her myself were she not dead already. Do you recognize this ring? Should I? It's a third-rate piece if ever I've seen one. I'd never buy something like this. Did you ever see Miss Emma wearing it? No. And why should she? I gave her enough jewelry that she could wear a superior ring every day of the week. Do something about it, Holmes. I... I did not do it. You know that. <laughs> 